The Caribbean NGO Policy Development Center works to place people at the center of the Caribbean development. Given its commitment to education, mobilization, and capacity building of civil society, the CPDC undertook the project, promoting renewable energy production in farming communities in Barbados. The project, which was funded by the Global Environment Facility Small Grant Program, implemented by the UNDP, sought to support climate change mitigation efforts on farms. This project focused on four activities. Mapping the energy use on farms across Barbados, the setup of the demonstration farm showcasing energy sufficient technologies, the provision of practical training for farmers to install technologies, and the promotion of a multi-stakeholder policy dialogue for supportive policy making. The CPDC was supported by a technical advisory group Compromise of representatives from the Barbados Renewable Energy Association, the Barbados Agriculture Society, Carib Save, the Barbados National Oil Company Limited. Representatives from the Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Energy also supported the project. The mapping study traced the existing practices on farms across Barbados and assessed the opportunities for the use of the renewable energy sources to the agriculture sector. The delivery of practical training to farmers allow them to understand the practical operations and benefits of implementing renewable energy technologies. The information given was very informative. There was topics on sustainable business practices, um, water harvesting, um, solar drying. There was also a topic on PVs, the water harvesting was really my, my love because that's exactly what I want to do within a very short time. Um, also, I was able to go on a field trip with the others on, on this morning and that I saw where the water harvesting and the PVs can work hand in hand to improve my business. The demonstration farm was established on the property of Mecca Company Limited, managed by Anna Beckett. The farm showcased how practical energy efficient solutions could address the needs of farmers and provide significant cost savings. The technical advisory group worked diligently with Anna to ensure that the right renewable energy technologies were chosen for the farm. The three components that were chosen, a photovoltaic system, biogas digester and water harvesting. The Carib Save also partnered with the CPDC to provide training and support under their Greening Micro Small Medium Entrepreneurship Project. What our project basically aims to do is that it tries to assist micro, small and medium enterprise businesses in implementing low carbon technologies as well as um, creating behavioral changes that will allow for their business to be more environmentally and economically sustainable. Um, when we came across Ms. Annette Beckett, she owns a dairy farm, and we were trying to find a way that we could basically reduce her electricity costs, um, because that would seem to be hindering her in terms of her being able to have a, a, a stable livelihood, um, because basically the process is very intensive in terms of the amount of power that is generated during the dairy process. So at that time, we, as part of it, we you know, gave some training and education in terms of the type of technology which could be used, um, as well as we gave recommendations in terms of what we could possibly implement for her farm in terms of uh, helping to reduce the electricity costs. The Insurance Corporation of Barbados also eagerly partnered with CPDC to offer a waiver of the first year of public liability insurance. The reason why we did this is because we found that renewable energy is a worthy, it's a worthy cause, a worthwhile exercise. Here at STBL, we always try to encourage our customers to look at things that can assist with renewable energy and, and their homes and reducing costs. We're looking at renewable energy and sustaining Barbados' future. Energy and Technology Inc. was contracted under the project to implement the renewable energy technologies. The company was founded on pillars of social responsibility, entrepreneurship, and innovation. Here today we are installing a renewable energy system. And what this system is going to do is actually going to offset the entire electricity bill for this farm. Our goal is not only to offset the electricity, but we're also going to use the renewable energy technology to 
um, provide water for the animals as well. So we're going to cycle the water to ensure that there's movement in the water using the power of the sun. Um, so therefore, um, the technology is going to help move the water up the hill and then send it back down via gravity so that to be eliminate any uh, fungus or any moss or any mosquitoes from settling within the water tank. So that's one of the options. And the other thing we're going to be doing is since they're processing milk, we're going to be using solar technology to offset the heating costs for the pasteurizing process. So the goal is to make this farm as um, net zero as possible. This project here really um, embodies um, what we speak about in climate change mitigation at the local level. Using a, a farming example to show how we can um, mainstream renewable energy and actually reduce not only the cost of our um, fossil fuels, our energy bill, but we can also have an impact on sustainable agriculture, sustainable consumption and production, and food security at the same time. Our roundtable dialogue brought together policy makers farmers, academics, and business people involved in farming. The dialogue sought to find ways to address the hindrances farmers face as they sought to increase the use of renewable and energy sufficient technologies on their farms. The dialogue highlighted that there were few hurdles in the process, such as the need for supportive legislation and access to financing to increase the accessibility of renewable energy technologies and greater synergies between all players involved. However, the project has shown that renewable energy technologies can be beneficial to the farming community in Barbados and can help reduce the cost and increase efficiency of operations. Overall, the implementation of technologies had a number of positive effects on Anna's farm. Her electricity bill moved from between 700 to 900 to now ranging between 350 to 450 per month. She has also seen a reduction in her water bill of 200 to 300 from the introduction of water harvesting. The advent of the photovoltaic cells at my establishment has been very helpful economically to the operation of the farm. Um, in terms of electricity, uh, it has helped tremendously. The electric bill has come down about um, $200, depending on what's happening on the farm. But with the uh, tremendous amount of uh, the, the fact that there's so much sun about and everything is so hot and the cows themselves are calling for more water. Uh, the water tanks that were also put in has also helped. Well, unfortunately, we're not getting the rain to add to the supply of water. But before that was happening, the water bill had also gone down somewhat by about $100 to $150 as a result of the uh, storing of water in the water tanks that were also part of the demonstration farm. These results are also possible for other farms in Barbados.